pilot program called Test to Stay. Uh, the goal is to try to keep students in the classroom, those who want to be in the classroom. And there's a lot of folks who uh, really are not enamored with distance learning. And however, when a school reaches the 15 COVID case limit, uh, they're typically forced to go into a soft shutdown. That's happened again here at Syracuse High School. So Test to Stay uh, basically would mean that uh, there's the requisite number of kids get tested, the school will be able to stay open uh, at least through the end of the term. Now, if students opt out of testing, this program again begins today. Uh, they will be quarantined starting today through December 18th and will have to access their work online. And also the school, if they don't get enough students to take part in this test to stay program today, they will have to go into that soft closure. But uh, really, you know, there's districts and schools around that are just trying to come up with new ways to try to keep as many students in the classroom as possible to try to get as much learning done as they can during this time of COVID. For now, we're live in Syracuse. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.